All right, everyone, thank you for joining us. We're right at two o'clock, so we will go ahead and get started. We're certainly happy to have you all here for our webinar, Upgrade Your Giving Tuesday campaign. It's hard to believe that Giving Tuesday is kind of right around the corner. Uh, so we're excited that you were able to carve out a little time to join us today. Thank you for that. I do want to share uh, that my name is Ashley Kefalitis. I'm going to move our slides along in just a second here. Here we go. Maybe. There we are. All right. So that's me. Uh, my name is Ashley Kefalitis. I'm the Community Development Specialist at Mighty Cause. And again, I'm excited to get to share this information with you as we come up to Giving Tuesday. A little bit of what we're going to cover today, we'll touch on what is Giving Tuesday, and then we'll dive into upgrading that campaign, and we'll start with leveraging your supporters. We'll move to donation data integrations, the donation experience, and promoting opportunities. And of course, we'll have time for questions and answers at the end of the webinar, and you're welcome to submit any questions you have either through the chat box or the Q&A box. Uh, you can submit those at any time. And then at the end of the presentation, I'll be sure to go over anything that we have there. Also, if you have to step out early for any reason, no worries there. We are going to be recording the webinar. So all of that information, even the questions and answers, that recording is going to be emailed to everyone. And in fact, we also include the slide deck in the email so anyone who's registered can receive both will receive both the recording and the slide deck and we'll also be posting the recording on our giving tuesday page if you want to share that information with anyone else as well so mighty cause we've been dedicated to serving nonprofits since 2006 and we offer a year-round platform for all of your fundraising needs so we do more than just giving tuesday and we are specifically designed for the small to medium nonprofit, although we do certainly have our share of large nonprofits as well. And not only do we process donations, but we also provide peer-to-peer -peer fundraising pages, donor management tools, integrations, a number of other features that we'll touch on today. But we also provide for anyone who is interested a free resource center with blogs, webinars such as this, but also ebooks and other case studies, all geared towards fundraising so that you find success, you can find new ideas, and that we're building that community of nonprofits. But let's get on to Giving Tuesday. So what is Giving Tuesday? And what does it mean, Mighty Cause, Giving Tuesday? Giving Tuesday might be larger than you know, although some of you have been involved for many years, so you know the scope. It launched back in 2012, and it's held annually the Tuesday after Thanksgiving, Black Friday, and Cyber Monday. And this global giving event unifies nonprofits all over the world through a day of online giving, but also collaborative generosity. And this year, Giving Tuesday falls on November 28th. So Mighty Cause is once again going to be partnering with all of you as nonprofits, not like bring in those donations. And we offer peer-to-peer -peer fundraising, best-in-class donation tools, such as matching grants, customizable donation checkouts. We also offer embeddable donation widgets and downloadable reporting, all as a part of your registration. The other thing that we try to do is spice things up a little bit with some competition during the day. So we have leaderboards based on the size of your nonprofit, but we also have hourly prizes just to, to bring out, you know, a little bit throughout the day and encourage those don donations to come in. All that we ask is that every organization register at givingtuesday.mightycause.com. And we ask you to register in part so that we know who all is involved, but a big thing is we'll know which leaderboard to put you on, what prizes you qualify, things of that nature. So the first thing that you're going to do as you're upgrading your campaign is you're going to register. So let's get to leveraging your supporters. And what does that look like? We'll jump right in with why our supporters feature is the donor recruitment game changer. 
So Mighty Cause houses your organization's history within the supporters feature on your organization profile page. Even if you've never used our advanced subscription before, all of that information is still sitting housed in the supporters feature. So as soon as you subscribe to the advanced subscription, then that information is unlocked and you can get using it. Now the supporters feature enables you to take a deeper dive into your fundraising history. You're gonna find your faithful givers, your big donors, your potential matching grantors, or even those donors that you haven't seen in a while, but you'd really like to see them again. And you don't just stop at your donors. Our supporters tool also creates a profile for anyone that's engaged with your organization through the Mighty Cause platform. So this means even if someone only created a fundraiser page, they never donated, but they created a fundraiser page, you're gonna have a record of that. Now, what about offline donors? Same thing, they're in your supporters feature as well. And with this advanced subscription, not only can you bulk import offline donations, so you have record of those, you can also import supporters information that you may have collected outside of Mighty Cause. So in the past, if you've used a different platform or as happens with many nonprofits, we end up with bits of information scattered throughout the organization. Well, you can import that and centralize everything in one records management location on your Mighty Cause profile page. So with this information that you're gonna import and that we already have, you're gonna take advantage of this treasure trove and you're gonna see what you can discover so that as you're developing your Giving Tuesday outreach plan, it's intentionally focused and intentional marketing is then gonna increase your donor and fundraiser engagement, which is in turn gonna lead to more donations. And as a donor management system, the supporters tool automatically assigns a role to every supporter that interacts with your Mighty Cause page. For example, donors are called donors, but anyone who creates a campaign page will be qualified as an organizer. And let's say someone is both a donor and an organizer. You'll see both roles assigned to that user account. So you know right away, these people are more, if I can use that term, more than just a donor, this person has already fundraised for us as well. That's a big distinction, but it gets better. As an organization, you can also assign custom tags to your supporters. For example, as you plan your Giving Tuesday strategy, use the custom tagging to sort your supporters to identify those top donors. Now, these could be people who have given the most over time, perhaps they've given the largest number of gifts, or every year they donate a large amount in December. We'll use this information to then prospect for a matching grantor, or maybe you're gonna ask that major donor who typically donates in December, you might ask them to see if they're willing to be a part of your Giving Tuesday campaign. And you'll also wanna be sure to review your donor's detailed donation and fundraising history before you do that personal outreach, because you'll wanna have full knowledge of any previous support or involvement. And you can also attach notes to each of those supporter accounts so that you know in the future what type of interaction you've been developing. And tagging your donors and adding those notes also enables you to segment and personalize your general donor outreach. For example, if you have donors that are new to your organization within 2023, this is gonna be their first Giving Tuesday with you. So you'll wanna send these new donors the type of outreach that says, please join us for Giving Tuesday. That's the type of invitation you wanna to send to them. But for your faithful donors, you're gonna send an invitation that's more along the lines of Giving Tuesday is coming, will you join us again? You don't wanna send the same outreach to both sets of donors. And the great thing is you don't have to. Now the information is easily accessible and you can easily segment. And part of upgrading your Giving Tuesday campaign, within that segmenting, you can do it based on the history of the different supporters and those trends. And then you're gonna designate your donors to directly ask that 
perhaps they consider increasing their gift amount, or you're going to ask others if they would consider hosting a fundraiser page for Giving Tuesday. So based on their history, you can segment even further between just new and previous donors to really get in and build some momentum. Now, as donors begin donating to your Giving Tuesday campaign, it's going to be time to start stewarding those donors. As soon as those donations come in, we want to start to steward those donors. So whether it's a new or a long-term donor, your supporters tool is going to help you do that. And we all know it's important to thank our donors and to thank them in a timely manner, but we also want to be sure that we're sharing with donors long-term the impact of their Giving Tuesday gift and be building those long-term relationships. And Mighty Cause makes donor management super easy, whether it's through a quick look at your downloadable donations report or that more in-depth look within the supporters feature, you're going to have what you need to not only thank your donors, but to build that relationship with them. And like I said, not only your donors, but any of your supporters, maybe they did a fundraiser or maybe they've volunteered, but you want to cultivate those relationships. We also suggest planning to update your supporters tool as you debrief about Giving Tuesday. So it might be a few days after, it could be three weeks after, whenever you do your debrief, be sure that you're updating your supporters accounts so that next year, all of that information is there. If you've asked somebody to donate for a matching grant, or if you've asked somebody to create a fundraiser page, you wanna make sure you have all that information there for 2024. Now, let's say that you already have a data management system or you use different applications. That's awesome. And we don't want you to reinvent the wheel. So instead, you can take advantage of our donation data integrations. So our data integrations not only streamline your data entry, but they also expedite your donor follow-up. So for example, if you use Gmail, you could set a personalized thank you email on behalf of your executive director to send to donors as soon as that donation is submitted. And this would be one last task, one, excuse me, one less task for everyone who's working and doing Giving Tuesday things. Because during Giving Tuesday, we also recognize you're also still doing nonprofit stuff. So we, we want to make sure that we can simplify and automate anything that we can. So you're making it easier for yourself, but your donors are still receiving that personalized experience. We also integrate with more than just Gmail. So if you use MailChimp, Constant Contact, Autopilot, Campaign Monitor, or a ton of others, you can automatically add donors to email lists. And this way, you can appropriately communicate with them, not just at Giving Tuesday, but throughout your end of year campaigns. Now, this might mean for some of you that you're going to exclude your Giving Tuesday donors from your next email with a donation ask, but you are going to include them in a different email thread where you're doing a special thank you segment for those who participated in Giving Tuesday. We also integrate with Salesforce. So when someone donates to your organization on Giving Tuesday, you can easily maintain your donor database. And you can set it up to automatically add a new contact record for that new donor, or you could add a new donation record to an existing contact. Because like we said, Giving Tuesday is busy enough. And if you already have these systems in place, use our integrations to seamlessly take that information from essentially the moment that that donor clicks the donate button straight through to when they start to receive their thank you emails and things of that nature. So now that we've looked at your donor information and what you can do with that and how that's going to help to upgrade your Giving Tuesday campaign, we want to look at that donor experience because the Mighty Cause Advanced subscription, that can enhance this as well. So one of the great things about Mighty Cause is that as long as your donors donate through the Mighty Cause checkout flow, I'm sorry, I'm going too fast on those slides. Here we go. Apologize for that. 
So with that donation checkout flow, as long as the donor uses a Mighty Cause checkout flow, that donation is going to count towards Giving Tuesday leaderboards and prizes. Now, when you register for Giving Tuesday, you'll receive the ability to embed a donation widget into your website. And you could certainly use any of the links, whether it's to your organization profile page or your organization checkout flow. For example, when someone clicks the donate button on your profile page, you're welcome to use those links for sure. But with the advanced subscription, you'll have access to a full embeddable form. Now the widget and the form being embedded in your website means that your donors can donate towards Giving Tuesday without ever leaving your website. And this reduces clicks and it also instills confidence within your donors. And both of these are huge when you're driving those Giving Tuesday donations. So why would we say that the form upgrades your Giving Tuesday campaign? You can customize your checkout flow and with the form, that full flow is going to show on your website. So now whether you're using the widget or the form, we definitely suggest that you add impact statements that reflect your Giving Tuesday theme to each of your donation suggestion amounts. The difference is with the advanced form, you can list as many donation suggestions and impact statements as you would like, and they'll all show on your website. And although we love the widget, the widget limits you only to four donation suggestions and four impact statements. And the donation form, the full form, also allows you to add up to 10 customizable questions. Now, you might not use all 10, but you have them available. Giving Tuesday means that you're going to have a lot of donor traffic going through your organization. And donor traffic also equals opportunities. So this is something that you don't want to miss out on at Giving Tuesday. Now, if there's something specific you want to know about your donors, or maybe there's just some general information that makes it easier for you to cultivate those donor relationships, you can include those custom questions and they can be required or optional. We don't want to prevent anyone from donating, but we do want to gather information. And you can set up questions for Giving Tuesday that later on, you remove if you don't want them throughout the year. And these questions can be anything that you would like to ask. It could be something on the serious side, such as, do you know someone who needs our assistance? Or on the other hand, you could do something for Giving Tuesday that's a little more lighthearted. For example, if your organization is focused on literacy, perhaps you ask your children's book. Or you can only go, you know, just a straightforward, what do you need? Would you like to receive our newsletter? May we have your direct email address? Totally up to you. But whatever you choose to do with your questions, don't miss out on the opportunity to get to know your donors better. Now, what about after that donation is made? Did you know that Mighty Cause sends the tax deductible receipts immediately following a donation? We do that all throughout the year. Whenever a donation deductible receipt so that you don't have to. But did you also know you can customize that receipt with your own thank you message? So we already knock out that first big thank you to your donors through that customized receipt. But with the advanced subscription, those receipts will now have your branded logo just for that little more personalization customization. Another donor experience option is making use of text to give. Now, this is great in particular if you're hosting anything in person for Giving Tuesday. Now, not only do you get to come up with your own keyword that promotes your Giving Tuesday theme, but you're also reminding your donors that there is no better time to donate than now. And we've found that text to give does work best for in person events. And no matter how casual or elegant your event might be, you can display that text to give number and keyword, and then you have your master of ceremonies invite everyone to make a donation by texting the keyword all at once. What we found is that this technique, it builds on the momentum of the event. It reminds your donors that accomplishing great missions cannot be done alone, 
And it allows you as the organization to share in real time the amount that's raised and the impact that that's going to have. Something also to keep in mind, during text to give we're offering prizes during those power hours, and that's throughout the day. So with your Giving Tuesday campaign, you might consider arranging your event in that text to give opportunity to be made during one of those power hours. So you're concentrating, you're donating through text to give you're doing it through a power hour. And if you want to really make an impact or really bring in some of these other opportunities, bring in matching grants. So that way, not only are you bringing everyone together at the same time to donate, you're also providing that matching grant and a matching grant has been proven time and time again to cause donors to give that little bit more than they would have. So those are things within your campaign, think through how can you harness the matching grant, the text to give in any in-person activity or online activity, but doing it during those power hours. So there's a lot that you can do. There's a lot of ways to say to your donors, it's easy to give and here's when we're asking you to do it. And even if you're not doing an in-person event, even just listing the text to give info on your Giving Tuesday promotions, that shows your donors that you're making it easy to give. And that being easy to give, that's a big part in donors following through with the donation. We've all seen every level of nonprofit has seen the harder it is to donate, the less likely someone is to follow through, even offering the perception, even if the donor doesn't use text to give, but showing them you can donate on our website, you can donate through text to give. If you choose to use QR codes, whatever you choose to do, show the donors that it's easy to do. So let's take a moment and let's look at a Giving Tuesday must have that often gets overlooked. Promoting opportunities for people to volunteer for your organization. It's one of those fundraising things that we don't really think of as a fundraising thing because we think of it as a volunteer thing. But volunteers, it's a twofold thing because you need volunteers to help you get through Giving Tuesday. There's a lot that you can harness with volunteers, whether it's making phone calls, it could be sending the thank you notes, maybe it's following up on social media and responding to people who post. It might be having someone who's there just to draft the emails that you're going to be sending leading up to Giving Tuesday. Maybe one of your volunteers is shooting the videos that you're going to use for your promotions. So you need volunteers to help launch and keep your fundraising moving forward. They might not be the person who's clicking the donate button. They might not even be someone who's creating a fundraiser page, but you need your volunteers. So that's one aspect. Be sure you're keeping them in mind and be sure you're showing them appreciation. But there's another reason why I bring this up, and it's because Giving Tuesday is a great time to solicit new volunteers and also to share your calendar of upcoming events. So the Mighty Cause Opportunities feature, that's going to enable you to post upcoming engagement opportunities right on your Giving Tuesday profile page. Here, your supporters can register either to volunteer or for an upcoming event that you'll have in mind where not only are you gonna be able to see who's coming because these people can register right on your Giving Tuesday page, but now your supporters are seeing other ways that they can be involved. And that's a big deal. We don't only wanna ask our supporters for funds. We also wanna ask them to engage in what you're doing as a nonprofit. And with this, you can post whether or not the occasion is going to be online or in person. You can also list specific conditions. So let's say you're doing an event where people must wear closed toed shoes and they need to be able to lift 15 pounds. You can list all of that in the opportunities feature on your Giving Tuesday page. And you can even attach an informational file or if there's a waiver agreement that you need people to sign, you can have that there as well. And what makes the opportunities tool even better 
is that you can manage and organize your volunteers within your supporters tool. So kind of circling back to the beginning, our goal isn't just to offer donation information. We want you to have a centralized location for all of your supporters. So whether it's a donor, a fundraiser, an offline donor, or a volunteer, we want all of that information to be found in one place. So the point is, the mission of Giving Tuesday is also the heart of your organization. You want to bring your community together to meet the needs of those around you. The needs are various, and we know that. We have a number of nonprofits on our, on our, within Giving Tuesday who participate, but we all have the same goal, and it's to make an impact in our community. And Mighty Cause wants to help make your Giving Tuesday campaign a glowing success so that you can move forward with your mission. And our advanced features can make that happen, but not only for Giving Tuesday, because we all know that fundraising is a year-round endeavor. So with our annual advanced subscription, you can leverage these tools to elevate your fundraising in every season. And we also know that nonprofits need all the help that they can get. Any time of year, you'll take the help. And this is why we've created additional benefits if you sign up for the annual advanced subscription now for Giving Tuesday. Now these benefits will include one month free towards your annual subscription. And not only that, but advanced subscribers have additional prize opportunities during Giving Tuesday. And who doesn't want the opportunity for more prizes? Uh, we also wanna be sure that you feel comfortable and that you get the most out of our advanced features leading up to Giving Tuesday. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna provide one free Giving Tuesday coaching session and we're gonna do two additional webinar trainings. And you'll also, as another benefit, you'll have access to dedicated Giving Tuesday resources. Now, as a quick reminder, our advanced subscription provides the donor management that you need through the supporters tool, also through seamless data integrations. You can even import donor data. Uh, we're gonna enhance your donor experiences through the embeddable donation form customized questions, and that text to give opportunity, also with your branded receipting. And finally, as an organization, you'll have the ability to post those volunteer opportunities and other calendar events, not only so that your supporters can register through your Giving Tuesday page, but also so that you can manage your volunteers and others through your supporters feature. Now, I definitely, I want to thank everyone who joined us today uh, we we want to provide you with what you need and i appreciate you taking the time uh, to listen through ways that you can upgrade your campaign if you're interested in a demo of the advanced features i'll be including a demo request link in the chat box in just a moment uh, you can also if you don't want to click the link you can also list your name your email address and your organization within the chat and I'll be sure to have one of our specialists reach out to you. Or if neither of those come about, you're also welcome to request a demo through the survey that comes up at the end of the webinar. So there's a couple of ways to request a demo. We'll be more than happy to get in touch with you that way. But for now, we're gonna go through, I know we've got a couple of questions. We'll go through those if anyone has any questions that come up, feel free to hang out for a minute, listen through, it might prompt a question, and I'm happy to go over those. We have a couple of minutes left, and I'm gonna go ahead and post in our, our chat box here the link if you would like to request the demo. And we have from Leah. So Leah asked, will we be posting power hours in advance so that you can plan? Yes, we will be posting those in advance. We haven't solidified all of that information, so I don't have an exact date of when that information will be available, but typically what we'll do is not only will we post that information on the Giving Tuesday website, but we'll also be sending out emails and things like that. So if you're registered for Giving Tuesday, then you'll be receiving those emails and notifications. And what I'm also going to do, thank you, Leah, for asking that question. I'm going to post 
as well, just the link to the Giving Tuesday website. So when you go there, the register button is front and center, but also if you go up towards the left corner a bit, not exactly, exactly in the corner, you'll also be able to see some resources. There's also resources further down on the page. They're kind of everywhere. Uh, so give me just a moment. I'm gonna check out to see a couple of questions that have come through. So Naomi asked a great question. With Giving Tuesday, one of the things that you receive is the opportunity for peer-to-peer -peer fundraising. And with that, we provide event pages, or excuse me, we provide fundraiser pages and team pages. With the advanced subscription, we do provide an event page. The event page, if you kind of go in sequence, a fundraiser page is just a single person. A team page would be multiple fundraisers coming together with multiple pages all sort of funneling into the, uh, the team page. But the event page, you can host teams and individual fundraisers. So you could have multiple teams, all of that funneling into your event page. When you are logged in as, if you're logged in as an administrator for your page, you can create the event a couple of different ways. One, you can go into your, on your dashboard, if you go into your fundraising tools, select campaigns, Towards the upper right corner, there's the option to create a campaign. When you do that, just be sure that you select other opportunity. I believe it says other opportunities because it initially assumes you want to create a fundraiser page. So select other opportunities. From there, you can scroll down to start the, the event page. The other option would be on your organization profile page, you can click the fundraise button and then you'll follow the same prompts where you'll select other and then scroll down to event, uh, create your event. So Shirley asked about pricing. So she asked um, if Mighty Cause is cheaper than PayPal for processing donations. The way that we do processing for our donations is we do have a 4% platform fee and then the 2.9% plus 30 cents for the transaction. However, that's only if the, excuse me, that's if the donor chooses to cover those, the costs. If a donor chooses to pay that 4% plus the transaction, then what we do for the organization is you don't pay anything. So in that regard, yes, because PayPal is going to charge just the flat rate, that's where the, if I can, that's where we get unbalanced and mighty causes cheaper because we wanna make sure for you as the organization that you're saving as much as you can. So we give the donors that option. Now, if the donors choose, let's say they say, I don't wanna cover the fees, we don't pass on that full 4% and transaction fee to you. Essentially, we drop the 4% and we reduce the transaction fee. At most, an organization is gonna pay 2.2% plus 29 cents, however, because most donors choose to cover the donation fees, the actual amounts that uh, organizations pay is typically less than 1%. So, and Shirley, what I would suggest for that, if you would like to sign up for a demo, we can definitely dive into those numbers uh, e even more and any questions that you have that way. Another question, should I use my donor list on Giving Tuesday to invite our, your, um, Whoop to invite to your fundraiser. Excuse me. I am Arnold. I apologize. I am butchering your question. Should I use my donor list on Giving Tuesday to invite to our fundraising meetings? This is going to be up to you. In some ways, uh, yes, the more the merrier. But you'll want to take a look at who who are the donors. So if you have people who are either from out of town, things like that then you probably don't, you wanna filter those out. If it's going to be, let's say a Zoom meeting where people can come from anywhere, then I would say go ahead. The other though, kind of be aware when it comes to who you're inviting to the fundraising meetings, only in the sense that some donors, if they're a brand new donor and they didn't donate very much, they might not be the best for candidate to start fundraising. So 
And that way I would say, take a look at, at the donor group and sort of set up, set some boundaries. People have donated X number of times or X amount. People, if they're, they've donated and also volunteered, I would try to maybe narrow it in a little more than that. And yes, we will be providing a copy, a recorded copy of the presentation. We'll be sending that out as well with the uh, slide deck for anyone who registered. Uh, so all of that will be there and that'll include the question and answer time as well. And Nicole asked, uh, by what date do we need to register? We don't have a set cutoff date uh, similar to the prizes. We haven't set a set cutoff date. We would say register as soon as possible. And part of that is so that you can start using the, the different features as far as just sort of getting your page ready and things like that, but also sending out those links, start letting people know, hey, Giving Tuesday is coming and you'll wanna be using your Giving Tuesday link for that. So I would say, go ahead and register as soon as you can and also start taking advantage of some of the different resources. Now your page doesn't have to be totally completed, let's say by Monday. You can be working on your pages right up to and through Giving Tuesday, but, if, but you'll wanna get registered as soon as you can, primarily so that you can get those links and that you can start promoting. So thank you, Nicole, for that. So Angela asked, what do I mean by an advanced subscription? Is there a charge? Yes, there. So what, what you have with Giving Tuesday when you register is a certain number of features. With the advanced subscription, we do offer those additional up, upgraded features, if you will. So there is a fee for that. Now, what we're doing is there's an annual, we offer an annual subscription. What we talked about today is signing up now, you'll receive a free month. Uh, so there's a couple of things that way versus just the regular annual subscription. Uh, so you'll want to talk with one of our in general 119 in your mind on the time frame in which you subscribe for the advance. The thing with the advanced annual is that you can get started with it now with Giving Tuesday, and then you've got it, and you're using it throughout the year. You're using that supporters tool throughout the year or the event pages and things of that nature. So annual is definitely the way to go, and Giving Tuesday is the best time to get started. Okay, Aileen, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to repost that link so that you can request a demo. I'm reposting that in the chat box. So thank you for bringing that up. I apologize that that it probably got lost in the flow there. So we do, so Dorothy, we do have a website to sign up for Giving Tuesday. I'm gonna go ahead and post that as well in the chat box. And so you, you should see, um, I just, just put in where you can request the demo and the link for the Giving Tuesday website. When you use the Giving Tuesday website, right in the middle, you're going to see the option to uh, to register there. Okay, so Molly is asking, how do members of your organization become team members? And do they have to individually register if the organization is already registered? So the way that things work for Giving Tuesday is it's by organization as far as registering for, for Giving Tuesday, just your organization registers. Now within your organization, you do have the option to add administrators. Now adding administrators to your full organization profile page, anyone who's an administrator is gonna have admin status, they can see everything. So they can see donation reports, they can access campaigns, all of that your admins have access. However, if you wanna do, for example, peer-to-peer -peer fundraising and you wanna ask people to create either individual fundraiser pages, or like you mentioned, a team page, that can be done through the fundraise button on your profile page. They don't need to be an admin for your organization page. They just need to click the fundraise button and then select the type of campaign that they would like to participate in. And when they do that, they'll become the administrator for just their page. 
So for example, if I'm not an admin on your page, but I create my own individual fundraiser page, I'm now the admin for my individual fundraiser page. I'll be able to see only my donors and I'll be able to customize my page. The way they're gonna do that is gonna be through the fundraise button on your organization profile page, but they do not need to be an admin overall. Uh, Molly asked, when can we start creating the text to give or the QR codes with the Giving Tuesday link? So as soon as you subscribe, or excuse me, as soon as you register for Giving Tuesday, and we do have some required items, tasks to complete on your organization profile page, once you complete those and then you're registered for Giving Tuesday, you'll see registered for Giving Tuesday in your organization overview tab. Once you see that, you're going to notice that your URL goes from being just mightycause.com to givingtuesday.mightycause.com. So as soon as you're registered and your URL changes, Molly, you can start creating those text to give and QR codes that you can send out to family and friends. That is an important thing to note that when you register, you do want to make sure that there are a couple of those required tasks on your profile page that you'll want to make sure that you, you complete as well. So Molly asked for the embeddable form on websites. So for example, on your organization's website, are there more ways to give than just credit card? Yes. We offer that donors can pay through uh, PayPal. We also offer ACH and Apple Pay. A donor would need to be logged into their Apple Pay account in order to use that. Uh, but also, as I mentioned, the ACH, if the donation I believe needs to be at least $50 in the ACH option will come up as well. So there are, I don't wanna call them caveats because those options, those payment options are there, but ACH, you have to at least have $50 minimum donation. And for Apple Pay, you have to be logged into your Apple Pay account. So James asked, is text to give or text to donate included in the advanced services, or is there an annual fee? Text to give is included in the advanced subscription. So if you subscribe to advanced, then that's text to give is totally covered. The only fees that would be involved there would be on the donor side when it comes to their texting and SMS and that kind of thing with their um, their wire wireless provider. But as far as on your end, as the organization, the whole thing is covered within the advanced subscription. And let's see. Okay, so Cheryl, so for the, Cheryl asked how much is the advanced subscription. Uh, typically it's gonna be 119 a month, but we are offering a three month subscription. When you sign up around Giving Tuesday, we also have some options when it comes to annual um, versus monthly. And there's a couple of caveats there. So for each organization, I'm gonna say the best, the way to get the whole picture is going to be to speak with one of our specialists so that they can learn the specifics of your organization and, and get you that exact pricing. Amber, I'm gonna go ahead and post again. This is gonna be both the, the link if you would like to request a, a demo, an advanced demo, but also I'm gonna include the Giving Tuesday website and at the Giving Tuesday website, that's where you'll be able to register for Giving Tuesday. So I'm not sure which one um, you're not seeing. You know what? Let me see. Let me, hmm. I don't know why it seems that we are not. I'm just posting to everyone. Let's see, give me just a moment. We're gonna try this again. I do apologize if that has not been going through because that's a little disappointing. Here we go. Okay, can can anybody let me know if that's come up yet? If the um if you can see the the two links now. 
And Molly, when it comes to the last date to work with your profile page, one of the great things with Mighty Cause is you can be working on your profile page at any time. So there's no, no deadline for that. You do wanna register as soon as possible, but there's no deadline for updating anything on your pages. And that would be the same for any campaign pages as well, fundraisers, teams, or, or events. And Amy, what we can do, I'll, I'll do what I can to get you on the list. Also, if anybody misses any of our webinars, they'll be, it takes a couple of days, but it'll be also on the Giving Tuesday website as well. It just takes a couple of days for that to get up there. But anytime, if, if you don't get to register, or if you miss anything, then, then you'll be able to access that there as well. All right, good. Okay, I'm glad everybody is seeing it. Okay, thank you for letting me know that the that the posts uh, weren't coming. I do, I do appreciate that. And what we'll do, we'll give just another moment to see if anyone has any other other questions or anything of that nature. I also would suggest when you're going through the Giving Tuesday website, go ahead and register for upcoming webinars. Even if you're not sure if you're interested or if you would like to go, go ahead and register. And then that way you will receive the recording and the slide deck after. So, okay, I'm not gonna make it, that's okay. You can always access that, that information later or, or at a second time. So Dustin, what I'm gonna suggest only because of the, the way the presentation is set up, what you can do if you click on the fundraise button on your organization profile page, it's not going to immediately create anything. Go ahead and click on that fundraise button. You'll see exactly what your what your donors or your fundraisers are going to see, and that'll show you where you can select other options, other fundraising options, and where you can select the the event option as well. And may, and Dustin, what I'll do. Um, I will follow up with you. Actually, I would suggest this. Go ahead and reach out to our customer support team if you run into anything, um, but just go ahead and click that fundraise button and you'll see everything that you need there. We've got one more question from Naomi. Dustin, you're, you're very welcome, but yeah, you should be good to go. One of the nice things about Mighty Cause is it's hard to break it. So you, know, you can always click on something, test out, you know, create a fundraiser, create an event, Go ahead and publish it. Nobody's going to see it because you're not providing the link to anyone. And then after you've had a chance to play around with it a little bit, you can go into the settings, you can go all the way to the bottom, and then you can delete it. So that's also an option for you there too. Um, and after publishing the page, are you able to edit? Absolutely. So the publishing just means that the page is going live. So people would be able to see it if you provide them the link, or if they go to your organization website for, or excuse, excuse me, if you were to uh, post that campaign, let's say you're doing an event and you post it under the featured campaign section on your profile page, the page being live is what enables you to post it on your page and people can see it, but you can still make edits to it at any time. And you can do that on the left side dashboard on any of your pages click the edit button. It looks like a little pencil icon and you can make updates uh, at any time. And Naomi asked if each supporter, also known as a uh, fundraiser in her case, if these fundraisers need to create a Mighty Cause profile and or is it possible to make it easier for them? The thing with fundraisers, they do need to have an organ, they do need to have a profile what we would reference as a user account on Mighty Cause. The reason why is we know everyone based on their email address. So when someone goes to create, for example, that fundraiser page, they will be required to either create a Mighty Cause user account or log into their user account. The reason for this is so that when that fundraiser, for example, needs to go back and edit the page, they're gonna go into their user account to get to that page. So we don't want pages just floating around out there. We want people to have them housed in their home, oh, excuse me, in their user account. 
so they can access it all the time. So they will need to have that user account and that's why. Give me one moment, I'm gonna read this question. Okay, so this is this is a great question. I'm gonna, and Molly, I'm gonna come back to you in one quick second. Dorothy, yes, this is different than North Texas Giving Giving Day. North Texas Giving Day, we partner together uh, on a for the technology side of things, but giving this Giving Tuesday is for Giving Tuesday on MightyCause.com. So the Although our features overlap a good deal, the what's North Texas Giving Day and what just concluded for their big giving event is separate from what we're discussing today of Giving Tuesday on MightyCause.com. So that's that's going to be different. If you have specific questions, go ahead and reach out to customer support with North Texas Giving Day, and they'll be able to help you for sure. Molly asked uh, regarding back to the, the fundraising, Molly asked um, when just sort of posting on social media and that type of thing, do possible donors want to see pictures of people in the organization or are they more interested in pictures of you working with the public for the various causes? It's a little bit of both depending on the organization. And the reason that I say that there's some organizations where the work is need is delicate work that that is happening, and we don't want to post really even pictures of of the people that we're working with um, or the the type of work that you do. So those are I don't want to say they're obvious, but in that way there's those if it's gentle work that you're doing. I would shy away from that. Do more on the lines of logos. And, and people who are either working or maybe who are, are like an alumni of the program. Um, so in that regard, you, you wanna be careful when you're looking at things with anything with children, you wanna be very careful. And But then there's the flip side, anything with animals, people love seeing the animals. And it's a great opportunity then to see, this is the work that we're doing and we're doing it with these animals. and. People love it. Uh, it's good to really have a mix of both. It goes a long way for donor trust when they see these are our staff, this is our board, these are the people who are essentially using your money for the mission. That goes a long way. But people don't only want to see that. They do want to see what you're what you're doing. So if it's not sensitive work, I would say try to have a combination of both, maybe go a little bit heavier on the actual work itself, uh, but people really want to see both. And I hope that that's helpful. I hope that that doesn't feel too um, like an answer, no answer. Uh, people do want to see both, just maybe a little heavier on the work side of things. Yes. So if you choose not to purchase the advanced subscription, you will absolutely still be able to participate in Giving Tuesday. There are still a number of features that we provide for free during Giving Tuesday. So it's a big part of signing up. When you register, you'll receive a number of those uh, free features. For example, the widget will be available to you. Uh, that can be customized. Or if you use the checkout flow, you direct everyone not to the widget, but you direct them to your Giving Tuesday profile page, you can customize that checkout flow. Matching grants is a big deal and that's available to anyone. All you need to do is register. You don't need the subscription. So there are a number of features that are available. Um, and by all means, certainly participate in Giving Tuesday. All you need to do is register and registration is free, which is always a big deal. Always, always helpful. And what we'll do just, um, for the sake of everybody's time, and I'm not seeing any new questions come through, I wanna thank everyone for your questions. I wanna thank you for just thinking through because we know that that helps everybody else think about some things. So I'm grateful for that, for uh, being willing to participate in the discussion. Definitely appreciate your time today. 
And just as a quick reminder, you are welcome to uh, request that demo in the, um, the survey that's going to follow, but also anytime, jump onto our website and you can check out more about Mighty Cause just uh, giving tuesday.mightycause.com and we're we're definitely here for any questions all year long so thank you again for participating thank you for jumping on making the time and we look forward to seeing you at the next webinar take care